Hello, Tex Andrews again for the LifeSense Project. It's part four of our Tool Anatomy video series. This is part two of the Color Selection tab portion of those videos. Once again, we're just showing you a portion of the editor module window so we can better focus on the tool. So, we talked about in the last video all this top portion of the Color Selection tab. Now we turn our attention to this area right here. You'll see that there's a grayscale bar here, and you should see that there are two triangular sliders here. These triangular sliders can be moved along this bar independently of one another. And if you grab the middle with your mouse and click, you can move the two of them together. And furthermore, if you grab the outer edge of either of those triangles, you can split them. Splitting them creates a feathering area between the two halves of those triangles. So now that we've looked at that, I'll show you how all that works. Let's once again adjust the saturation all the way up. The whole image is affected. Now I am going to move this slider down towards the lower end of the luminosity range up this way towards its other slider and you should see if I adjust this correctly that the changes that I have affected up here are only happening in the top end of the luminosity range where I have selected down here with the two sliders and I can select and move that down here so that it only affects the darker areas of the image. I can move it in here so that it only affects the middle portion of the image, etc. It's freely adjustable at any time in the process. Here you have a checkbox that allows you to select or disable this part of the color selection tab, the luminosity range. So now once again, the entire image is being affected. When I enable it, again, the changes that we, I've affected up here are constrained to the top end of the luminosity range down here that I have selected. Over here is yet another box titled Invert. Invert the color selection. If I enable this, now Everything but what I have selected on the luminosity range is changed in the image. So it's the exact inversion of what I have done here. So between these two tools, you see you have a great deal of control over how your changes up here take place in the image with luminosity alone. But of course, all of this down here in the color selection tab can be used together. And in our next video, we'll show you how that works.